Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cody Steck. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We're going to be taking a drive down St. George Boulevard here. There's been so many changes over the last little bit and I want to show you exactly what we're seeing right here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get out onto this main road. Uh, there's been a lot of changes and I think it's really exciting to see what's happening here in the area. Um, you know, tons of new businesses. The city's putting in a lot of uh, work into the city. So I want to show that off. Because uh, we're going to see some major changes here over the next uh, couple of years, you know, 5, 10, 15 years into the future. This is going to look much different than it does today, which looks much different than it did, you know, uh, about 10 or 15 years ago. So uh, enough of that. If you're thinking about making a move here, reach out to me. My information is in the description box below and it'll be here on screen. And with that said, let's go ahead and take a drive down St. George Boulevard. All right guys, so as we jump into this, we are heading east here in my truck, and you can see that we're looking on the north side of town right here. So we started on the very west side. We're driving over to the east side of St. George Boulevard. You've got I-15, which kind of is the uh, eastern end of St. George Boulevard, but we're looking here to the north. You can see there's a big open field right here that's yet to be developed, and there's gonna be some older homes and businesses as well. You know, most of St. George Boulevard is going to be businesses. You're gonna have some hotels, banks, credit unions, uh, restaurants, coffee shops, all of your like Main Street type shots where you've got some, you know, maybe some furniture stores or an antique store or something like that, right? Now, the age of these different properties is going to vary. You're gonna have some that are built in the 1970s, 1980s. You can even see some cranes off in the distance indicating brand new construction there in the area, as well as that lot that we saw just a couple of seconds ago where they're gonna be building something brand new as well. So there is still growth going on here on St. George Boulevard, but there are gonna be some older buildings too. This is such a desirable area because it's right in the heart of town. You get a lot of tourist traffic and also a lot of locals that come through this area. And that's why businesses want to be here now depending on where you're at in Washington County you may or may not visit this road you know maybe a couple times a month or maybe a couple times a year just depending on where you're at and where you're going on a regular basis but this is a great place to go and just kind of enjoy what st. George has to offer this is gonna be one of the main parts of town especially for anybody who's visiting from out of town um, you can see just restaurants some car dealerships gas stations banks credit unions uh, KFC, a restaurant, uh, there's going to be just about everything you need here on St. George Boulevard at one place or another. So we're going to continue on down the road here. We're going to uh, cross this building right here. It's called Pink Box. They're going to have donuts there. It's kind of a newer uh, place that they're advertising and uh, they get a lot of business from it. Of course, it is a giant pink box. Now coming over here, we're crossing over the I-15 interchange. Uh, this is something they changed a few years back where they actually did this new traffic pattern. And coming across the interchange here, you can head left and jump onto I-15 northbound, which will take you all the way to Salt Lake or up into Washington, or you can continue on straight and it will take you over to River Road. So guys, that is St. George Boulevard driving from the west side of town um, over here to Red Cliffs Drive slash River Road. We're right here at the intersection just on the east side of the uh, I-15 interchange. And um, yeah, that's a little bit of a look at what St. George Boulevard looks like. If you live in the St. George area, you're going to be driving on St. George Boulevard at least every once in a while. So it's good to get an idea of what that looks like. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If you wanna stay up to date on what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play here along uh, the southern part of Utah, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure to subscribe and don't forget to reach out to me if you're thinking about making a move here. Call, text, or email anytime. My information's here on the screen and it will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.